see. So this is part of the sort of research program. So to blindfold them, you just put suction cups. Great thing with whales is that they are a bit like yeah, kitchen doors. You know, they, you could really fit uh, suction cups very well to them. And uh, nowadays, there is a whole development. There is a whole. So these uh, these suction cups are actually made by an American company specializing in whale suction cups. Now we have to scare away all the gulls. But now we try to. Uh, now we actually try to uh, demonstrate the location. If you start, nice. you can see that uh, SIFT is really scanning. Sometimes she's uh, coming too close and she has to sort of make another turn. But usually it's pretty, pretty good in, uh, in getting to the fish. And this is how echolocation was demonstrated by Ken Norris in uh, 1961 with shops. This was sort of the first uh, classical demonstration of echolocation. <laughs> and uh, if you listen now, there will be uh, uh, some hundreds of clicks emitted every second. Which is also funny to understand from a perceptional point of view. They emit these very powerful clicks, and just a few milliseconds later, they have to listen to these really faint echoes. So, how does the hearing system uh, accomplish that? That's one of the one of the great uh, questions uh, about these animals.